Hey, what's up, people? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So recently, I signed up for the CSS Tricks Lodge, or whatever this thing is called. Um, it's his video screencasts of him redesigning his website. Very, very informative. I learned a lot, and I'm not even through it. Not even halfway done. Um, so I would, I would really highly recommend that you check this out if you want to see from start to finish of. Um, programming a website. A lot of useful information. Anyhow, um, as I learned things, I decided I would share them with you. So the first thing that I learned is using SAS. And SAS is another programming language. Well, it's it's like a modified version of CSS, which is very, very good. The only downside is that it has to compile. And to compile it, I use CodeKit, which is what Chris Coyier recommended. And to download that, it's a paid um, let me go there, code, oops, code kit. And then um, you had to buy it. It's like $25 or something like that. Right now I'm just using the trial because I wanted to test it out, but I will be buying it because it's very, very nice. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get started with that. Um, so if you don't want to buy code kit, you can just download the trial, test it out, see if it's something that you like. I mean, it's only $25, so it's not a huge debt. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I uh, let's uh, let's create a folder. I'm gonna create a new folder just real quick, and we'll call it Pixel for Life. And then open this up, and then inside of here, I'm gonna create a couple of folders. The first one is going to be called uh, CSS. So right now, I'm just making the the basic structure for a website. So if I'm starting something new, this is kind of the folders that I would be creating. So we got CSS, maybe images, and then. And then JavaScript, and then one more, and this one is going to be for for CodeKit and the SAS. So it's just going to be called one called SAS. That works. Or we'll just do um, SCSS. That works. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this folder into Coda, and in here I'm going to create a couple of files, and one's going to be the index.html. And then I'm going to create a new file called um, global.scss. All right, and then this one I'm going to drag inside of the scss folder. So this is kind of the structure of our website. We have just this right here and index. So I'm going to pop open this index.html. And let's just have that open. And I'm just going to start the basic structure for our website. So just um, I'm going to do doc type HTML. And then we'll do HTML, head, and then title, and then pixel for life. Close off the head tag, open up the body tag, and then we'll close that off and close that off. All right, so now inside of the head tag, you want to create um, a linking file. So just like with normal CSS, you want to link something. So all we're going to link to is a file that's not existing yet, but it's going to be within this CSS folder. So we're going to say, let's see, link. Oops. Want to do ah, making a mess. Link rel equals, and it's going to be style sheet. And then href. This is the location of the style sheet, and it's going to be inside of CSS slash global dot CSS. Close that off, and let me show you one thing too. I'm going to drag this index.html right into this file here, and we have no information because we have made no styles. So we just quickly just put some body text in here and just write pixel for life rocks. Close that off, save it. As you can see, when I save it, nothing happens here. So I have to manually refresh the page, and then bam, it pops up. So now let's jump into CodeKit. Gonna have, oops, I'm sorry about this. I'm gonna zoom in. Zoom in very big so you can see all that. All right, so um, inside of CodeKit, what I'm gonna do is drag and drop this website folder. So that's just with all this content in here. Just gonna click it and drag it into here. You can see this, uh, you know, it says add this folder. So I click add folder, and right away it shows what files I have inside here index and global SCSS. So if I click on global SCSS, I can see some options about it nested, 
expanded, compact, or um, compressed. So you can change the way that it changes your CSS file. So if you did um, compressed, uh, it would uh, get rid of all the spacing and all that, which is supposed to make your website load faster. So I'm just going to leave it as is and show you what happens. Right here, I'm going to click on compile. And then it's going to do its magic, and as you can see, a global.css popped up right here. And that was all automatic. So let's come into, we're not going to be worrying about this global.css. We're going to be working in the global.scss. So let me double click and open that up. And let's just do um, body. And we'll write background gray. Save it. And as you can see, it automatically updates this right here. So let's try that again. Um, going crazy here. Let's do h1, and we'll do found family Helvetica. Save it and watch. Let me zoom in. Save and boom. Changes right there. Color white. You get the idea. Okay. So that's just a quick overview of CodeKit. Uh, I'm going to be diving more into SAS and showing you the cool features. I really love it. Uh, I'm just learning, and Chris Coyier is helping me out a lot. So I would, again, recommend that you check out his uh, his tutorials here. you got to pay for a monthly subscription, which is kind of the downside, but it's totally worth it. I've learned quite a bit so far. So be sure to tune in. We're going to be learning some sweet stuff. See you next time.